In this podcast, I'm going to talk about Z-scores. Z-scores measures distance of raw scores from the mean. Its unit of measure is in standard deviations. Z-scores is equal to zero at the mean. Z-scores are negative to the left of the mean. Z-scores are positive to the right of the mean. So we have a bell curve, and right in the middle is the mean. To the right is positive z-scores. To the left is negative z-scores. So let's imagine we have an observation that's one standard deviation away from the mean. If we wanted to know what is the probability of an observation, being between zero and one standard deviation away from the mean, you'd look that up in the back of your book. And the value there would be, should be, 34%. Now, if you remember, the bell curve is symmetrical. So, the area from zero to negative one standard deviation away from the mean is also 34%. If you look at the area between negative 1 and 1 standard deviation away, it's 68%. Now a common z-score is 1.96. And that means that 47.5% of the observations will fall between 0 and 1.96 standard deviations away from the mean. Again, it's symmetrical, 47.5% from 0 to negative 1.96, which would give us 47.5% on both sides. There's 95% chance that any observation will be between a negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. Now, what's interesting is if 95% of the observations are between 1.96 and negative 1.96, that means that 5% of the observations have to be in those yellow tails. And we get that by saying 5% plus 95% is equal to 100%. So basically 95% in the middle plus those two yellow tails is 100% of everything. We, again, we have 5% total in those two tails. If we take that 5% and cut it in half to determine how much is in each tail, obviously it's 2.5% is in each tail. So, 2.5% is to the left or less than 1.96, negative 1.96. There's 95% in the middle, and there's 2.5% chance that an observation will be greater than 1.96 standard deviations away from the mean. And that will just about do it for this podcast.